So as you guys may or may not know, sometimes I do movie reviews or TV show reviews on this channel, and I actually recently binge watched a show that many of you might have seen on your Netflix, if you have Netflix, and it's called Japan Sinks 2020. Now, um, a few things that kind of caught my eye before I watched it is the art style. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the show Devilman Crybaby, also on Netflix. Very, very graphic show, but the story was told magnificently, in my opinion. Uh, also very, very dark. But it was drawn very similarly, and that kind of caught my attention. So I decided to take a nosedive into this show, and I went in with an open mind, and I was not disappointed. Let me tell you what. I was not disappointed. Now, listen. Um, to kind of briefly explain what the story plot is without spoiling too much, Japan Sinks 2020 is exactly what it sounds like, Japan sinking. But the cause of the sinking are these super huge uh, earthquakes. I think they're, they're scaled in magnitudes or whatever, but super huge uh, earthquakes that are basically shattering Japan into pieces, causing it to flood and um, the people on the, on the peninsula to survive. And it, it or on the island, right? Japan's on an island. I'm not sure. I'm ge geographically challenged, but it, basically on the country, everybody's surviving. Um, that that remains, and these earthquakes are very frequent, and it's tearing the entire country apart. Uh, and it basically tells a story of a family that is trying to survive throughout all of this mess. And I like you know, TV shows and movies like this, because I feel like it's it, it's more intense than any horror film or drama that you can pretty much ever watch when you watch this style of storytelling, because you don't know what people are capable of um, when, you know, a dynamic like this is, is created, because, I mean, you essentially create a, a dynamic of lawlessness and um, a lot of other craziness. So, I would definitely recommend watching this for sure. Uh, I had a lot of dark elements to it, a lot, a, a huge dose of reality. It almost gave me that sense of no one is safe when I was watching this uh, show, and I was like, "Dang, like this is this is crazy." Um, you you will go through a few emotional emotional roller coasters, I guess, um, as the the show progresses. It does move a bit weird though. Uh, some of the main characters. Um, you have a hard time attaching yourself to some of the characters that I feel like they wanted you to be attached to. Uh, you didn't have enough time spent with them to understand like how important they were. But outside of that, I thought it was a very, very, very good show. And out of a 10, I would definitely give the show uh, like an eight for sure. A solid eight. Very good show. Very good storytelling. The animation was absolutely incre incredible, and each episode left you curious um, about what would happen in the following episode. It was it was very awesome. Uh, it, it, it's only one season, so if anybody has any questions as to if there's going to be a second season or whatever, I'm pretty sure it's just one season, only 10 episodes from start to finish, and it tells a very wholesome story. So uh, you learn a lot of interesting lessons throughout this whole thing as well. Like I said, I won't spoil too much, but I wanted to kind of touch on it really quick. I know it's a random video, and this goes against all of the other videos that I make on my channel, which is totally fine because that's why I named this channel James Bray and not, you know, James reacts or James plays video games or da 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 da. But I figured if somebody's looking for an interesting show to watch, it would definitely be Japan Sinks 2020. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I think it's a show worth watching, and I feel like a lot of people can learn a lot from it just with the um, simple basic concepts of, of one, one thing I can talk about, um, which would be the appreciation of life itself. And that was there that was definitely hammered in quite hard throughout the show so um loved it absolutely loved it and i feel like anybody that's stumbling across this show is going to enjoy it too so if you're on the fence about whether or not you uh should watch it uh watch the show i would definitely take a, a leap of faith and and watch it because you're you're gonna enjoy it you're definitely gonna enjoy it that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys have seen the show before we can open up a discussion in the comments and yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.